Hello and welcome to the 14th Fundamental Investing with the Use of Python Programming. Where we left off, I uh, will just bring it up. We were generating a chart. Uh, this was just, I think, what were we doing? Net income? Yeah, this was just, just net income here. And we don't have the date or anything like that on there, but I was just showing you guys a basic uh, projection. So now what I want to do is graph the other, um, the other two things and show you guys that. And eventually, we will be moving into uh, including it in our other program. Though, I think what I'll do is I'll at least show the basics of graphing all three of these things. And then I think I'm going to have to just break down and show you guys how to convert the dates and then make this one look at least acceptable. So anybody that maybe doesn't want to include it with their... Like, some people might not care at all about the RSI or the MACD. So I wouldn't want to make everybody have to go that route. Although I do, you know, highly suggest that you guys check that out. There's a lot of really great, even if you don't care about the RSI or the MACD, there's a lot of really good information there as far as like graphing and matplotlib is concerned. So even if you're not into that stuff, so highly suggest you check it out. But I figure I better not force everybody to do that, so I'm not gonna. Um, Anyway, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to graph the other two things and then I'll help you all fix the dates and uh, one more thing and, and then we'll start um, moving it into the Yahoo thing, or well, the uh, screener and then we'll, the final step will be into the, uh, the Python charting tutorial series. That way, um, not everybody has to do it. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'm just going to literally copy and paste this uh, this first array twice and that way all we have to do is just edit in the new terms and stuff since basically the formats all the same so this one was rev date and then this one is revenue and it's not net income array it's rev array and then this variable we'll call ROC date this variable we'll just call ROC and the uh, thing that we're going to get it from is ROC array or ROC AR. But everything else stays the same. Delimiter is still a comma. Still converts the same. All that. So we don't really need to change that. Now we actually need to, we've converted this basically to a NumPy array. Now what we need to do is actually graph this stuff, right? So fig equals plot figure. That stays the same. Plot show stays the same. But then here, we need to plot two more uh, axes. So paste, paste. We'll call this axes, axes two. This axes will be axes three. And the stuff that we're going to plot is different. We have rev date. So I'll just copy, paste. This one was, and then revenue. And then we had ROC date, paste, and then ROC. Good. Now the last thing we want to do is we're going to put it up um, on uh, into this grid. So actually, let's just change this grid to be let's just make it a six by six for now. Um, doesn't really matter, uh, but we'll do that. So this one starts at zero zero. This one will start at two zero, and this one will start at four zero. Then we want to start editing uh, row span. So all these will be They'll spin uh, two rows, and they'll all span six columns. Cool. Now, um, that should be it to plot a really basic one. So let's see where we stand, make sure we did everything all righty. Sure enough, there we go. We've got all three plots on here of the data. This was net income. I already forget what the second one was. Uh, net income. Then the second one was revenue. And then we had return on capital. We could add titles on these or even uh, put like a label on the axes. I guess maybe we can do that along with the other edits that we're going to make real quick. Um, so I guess, yeah, let's throw that in really quick and add uh, the label just to be good, good little uh, graphers here. So AX1, or actually here's what we do for this. Uh, things just plot Y label, and this one we are gonna call, 
what was this net income net income and then come down here and you don't have to specify the axes like it goes by what it's plotting at the time I'm pretty sure so now we want uh, this is revenue and the final one is return actually we'll do ROC just because uh, I don't want to run out of space so that should do it for at least our labels so we don't forget like what the heck we're looking at right so let's bring that over so now you should see something more like this so at least you know what you're looking at um, and then the last thing now or well second to last thing that I'm going to show you is let's convert this to a date format now so I'll close out of this and what I want to do is first I want to we're going to kill two birds with one stone actually so let me show you something one last time when this graph comes up you'll see that it looks like this right um, but if you were to say zoom into this point here it only zooms in this chart and it doesn't zoom in these charts and a lot of times you might want to zoom into a specific spot and see what the other one was doing at that specific time now with these charts uh, it's not as necessary but one thing to note is they're not lined up with each other because this one I believe goes all the way back to like 1999 right the return on capital data goes back to 1999 and then one of these goes back to only 2003 and the other one I think maybe 01 or something like that so they're not they're not lined up correctly right so that's that's kind of a problem so first so we want to solve that problem and we want to do the date issue so to kill all those birds we want to as another parameter here just after you specify the shape and the starting point put another parameter in here and it's called share x and where do we want to share x with AX1 and then a comma um, and so that'll share the axis of, or the X axis with axis 1 and then I'm just going to paste the same thing down here so now they actually share the same axes uh, with each other and then while we're here let's go ahead and edit uh, the date and convert the date and then I'll show you guys what where we are now so to convert the date since they're all sharing the X the same axes as axis 1 basically all we have to do is convert that axis to date format. So ax1.x axis dot set underscore major underscore formatter and then open up your parameters m dates dot capital D A T E F capital F by the way formatter and then within your uh, parameters here we just specify um, Kind of the same we'll just copy and paste actually since it's the same stuff if you had intraday data you would you know you'd want to have the inch oh my goodness i can't click you would want that but for now that's the format that we want so now when we run this um you should see in a second when it comes up this call is taking a while there we go um now there's actual dates here right and see this one um goes back to 1999 right even though we can't see it if we did uh, scroll up well I guess it doesn't let's see but if you hover over it um, you should see down here in the corner when I hover over a spot you can see this one goes back to 2001 but this one only goes back to 03 and this one goes back to 2002 so they're all different data sets right but what's awesome is now we want like let's be like okay well we want to like look at this spot right here it zooms into all of them even though you only zoomed in on like one chart you know so it can be helpful but like I said like with this data the most helpful point is when it comes up initially it's not like we're gonna be zooming in on anything because it's real there's not much there's not really high granularity data but um, what's nice is when it sh when it comes up these are all aligned right so like this point here is 827 with this point which would be 827 if I can hold my mouse straight as I went up but anyway the data is now aligned so you can still compare these things and finally the only thing I'm gonna I'm gonna change about this chart I mean you can do all kinds of customization with matplotlib but if you want to learn more about that you're gonna have to do the Python charting tutorial but the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is we're gonna fix this spacing issue because that's just bothering me so uh, to do that and to see what you might want to do you can click this configure subplots button and up will pop a little window like this and actually to be exactly like this and what we want to do is manage the H space which is like headspace I think 
So we want to bring that up a little bit, and that's probably pretty good, like a 0.53. So now there's like these aren't like they're not getting jumbled up too bad. So that's the last thing we'll do here. Uh, and to do that, you can you adjust the plots here, so you wouldn't have to do it by hand every time. The command for that is plt.subplots underscore adjust and you could put any of those parameters that we were just looking at in here but the only one we're really going to edit right now is h space and we're going to say that equals 0 0.53 save that run it and up pops a beautiful chart on load i mean this stuff kind of runs into each other but um like i said if you want to make your chart really epic you'll have to watch the other tutorial <laughs> and uh so anyway now um we have this. So now what I want to do is go back to where we were with our, our Yahoo screener. And anytime it finds a company that matches the, uh, the PEG, the PE, the price to book, all that stuff, it will not only tell us that stock, but then it's going to visit uh, Quandle and pop us up a chart just like this for the stock that it found. So we can immediately look at its earnings data, revenue, return on capital. And then obviously, if you guys wanted to throw in your own little custom thing, you could change the links up to be whatever the heck you wanted, really. So um, that's what we're going to do next. And then, yeah, after that, then we'll connect it all together with the other Epic app that we built. And uh, we'll be sitting pretty. So anyway, uh, hopefully I'm helping you guys out. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.